What's up, Internet? Welcome back to Isles of Sea and Sky. We are in the Sanctum. We are 76 stars deep. And my theory on the last episode was that potentially the Sanctum gives us the power to banish the black hole roadblocks on the Snake Island. Um, so we're here at the Sanctum to be able to try to see what these puzzles are all about. Um, the thing that we've seen here is that these puzzles require the use of all four of the elemental guys. Um, and we haven't really got, been given the opportunity to see what they look like when they're interacting with each other. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, and this is what I wanna do with this episode, maybe even the next one, we'll see how long this takes. Um, okay, so it seems like a valid start is to just get something pushed on that the block. So the water block allows us to, or the water elemental allows us to copy blocks. Now, does it allow us to copy? Oh, wow, what is that? Hold on, let's do this in a way that is a little better for visibility. Is that possible? Hold on. Let's move you this way. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So the water guy can copy even the elementals, which is really interesting because that, <laughs> that means essentially I'll have a double Oh, okay. That essentially means I'll have a double of any of the other elementals. Um, I want to try some more stuff before we continue. Okay, so fire guy interacting with the other ones just pushes them. Hmm. Okay. I can't really get in there with the with the golem yet, and the wind guy is going to be even tougher because that's in a corner. Um, okay. But yeah, I think I, there, there is definitely a first step here. So let's try to get the... Uh, let's try to get this in there. So if I push the water guy all the way over... Is that gonna be possible? Where did the where did the block start? It starts there. I could do that. Oh no, I can't. Hold on. Uh, I can't use the fire guy to push water one. Let's see. Can I do? No, if I push them up, that's going to be a problem, too. Hmm. Okay. So I can't push Wind Guy at all right now. That is not possible. Golem, can I do anything with you? If I If I'm able to push the Golem to the left, that'll break the arrow block, which would be nice. Um... But I don't know if that's possible given the things that I have. Fire guy is not going to be able to leave the bottom until I break the arrow blocks on the bottom here. Um, can I go all the way up with this? Oh, I might be able to just do this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe not. Hold on. Ooh. Uh. Is that is that a good thing for me? So if I keep that there, right? Now can I copy it with the water? Well, copying it actually wouldn't be great either because then it's just stuck in a corner. Hmm. I think there may be an interaction between these guys that I don't 
I don't see yet. Let's go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave the sanctum, but I am gonna probably dart between a lot of these puzzles. See if I could figure anything out. Um, this one looks way harder, though. <laughs> I, I didn't actually, the first time I was here, I didn't really take a solid look at what these puzzles actually were. Um, and the goal isn't, very clearly, isn't to just get to this, because that, it's going to be a bit to break it or something. Because it's here, and I can't do anything with it. Alright, that's a death. Yeah, interesting. Music changed for each of these puzzles. That's that's interesting. I wonder how hard that the game thinks these are, because there are some of the other ones that I've thought are pretty pretty difficult. Um Okay, this is our water island world puzzle. Um this one is I don't know why I have the feeling that this is a little bit more straightforward than the other two maybe because it seems a little bit more linear or sectionalized so this if i push the water guy through oh i can't you're stuck here that's interesting so i can go here that'll kill me i can't i can't open that up i can't go in there so let's try some other interactions i guess so let's put the fire oh Okay, so if I put, right, if I push the, the fire guy we know pushes the elementals, so if I push the wa wind guy, I'm gonna, it's gonna start moving, which is great. I have one ice block, which is gonna allow me to cross a spike gap, which, what I'd really, yeah, what I'd really love to do is have the water guy copy this. This could go down. For sake of argument, let's see what that looks like. If I did this, that won't help me, right? Because that's just going to kill me? Yeah. So let's undo that. Um, I have a feeling that this is the move right now. So let's do that. I can't push this, right? No. Maybe I just come out with it? That seems maybe correct. Oh, wait. What if I can push... I can maybe get you out of here. Right? I can maybe move the water guy out. Oh. Maybe not there, but I can do that. So, if I... Let's do that one more time. Okay. Uh I may have rethought my strategy, but give me let's let's see if it works. Yeah, that's just going to kill it and I can't move the the water guy off the top. See, I'm never going to be able to move him out of there because I can't get from above. Now, if I, I rang the bell, I would be able to do that. Hmm. So if I do something like this, I think this is the first step. I think this makes sense as the first step. I don't have anything I can do here yet. Oh, wait, I didn't even notice the ice block there. Uh. Ooh, how does that help me? Um. What I'd really want is to get it out of the here. But I can't shove it up, and I can't come from the right. That's going to kill it. That's going to just make it there, which isn't super helpful. Okay, so th this is out. So that that's good. What happens if I... 
If I push the ice block down to the water elemental, that's gonna... That will probably just result in the ice block fusing with one of those streams of water, right? Um, can the wind guy be useful at all for the golem up here? Potentially, but now I can't really do anything about it. What I'd really want is to shove the, the golem down to break the... I think what I want to do is copy this. Let's let's try something. Oh, that's going to result in some bad stuff. Hold on. I'm going to try resetting just to see if this is going to result in failure like I think it's going to, but let's see. So, if I do that, you're right. That's going to just do... That's just going to shove it in the wrong way. And if I came back a little bit and did this, this is just going to fuse. Yeah. So put, pulling that down is not going to be easy. But let's try... Let's try doing it with the wind guy. So let's try that. Now, I can move you over so you could skip that one. That's the idea. No, it's still going to push it to the next spot over. So it doesn't look like I can push the water block the, or the ice block down here. Or at least not past this one. So maybe I can get it to move the other one. But I'd have to open up this, I think. I think that's the key. I'd have to open that up. So... How do I get in there? Or how does even the fire guy get in there? Right? Because I can't, I can't move you out of here. Wow. Yeah, this uh it's it there's definitely elements of this that um that are confusing me. Um looks about as hard. Um Oh, interesting. I see in the golem has an 8 it 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 requires 8 steps and then it will be burned up. All right. Well, that's oh. Oh, I see. I think it's just testing the fact that we have the six-step uh, fire mover. Okay. How do I... I want to... Basically, I think that the best goal in any of these puzzles is to try to unblock the arrows, right? So, what's the best way to do that? So, I think... Let's... Stick with the one on the bottom left here. Basically, I'd want to blow up. I want to blow it up or move it in some way. Okay. I should probably just try to... Yeah, that's not going to do because I wonder if I can just use this. To push. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so that'll get me past this. And then I'm gonna need... This is a weird way to do it, but I think it actually is possible. So hold on, so let's reset. So I push you this way. 
Now I can push you down. This comes over. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. And now if I reset, I can come here and now I can, I'm able to push the golem, which is great. That is progress. Um, next goal, I think I want to ring the bell, the bronze bell. That sounds right. Maybe that, or do I want to ring, or do I want to push the green pressure plate? Maybe that's the next step. Can I do that? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, so that burns up if I push it up. But if I do this, it doesn't because it's not traveling across as many blocks. But regardless, if I'm pushing this up at all, it doesn't make sense to push the golem down. Pushing it left to right only just moves where it's gonna shoot up. So really, I'm, I'm pushing it up. And I think this is the move. And then that kills a block there. I could just keep, do and I could kill the other one too. Okay. I don't see what purpose that serves yet, but we'll find that out. Um, I want wind guy to come up this way. And then let's see if I can get Oh, right, because the water guy isn't going to be able to actually press that pressure plate down. Right? I can't use an elemental to press down a, a pressure plate. So... Let's try the bell next, then, I guess. Um... Really, what I think I want to do is maybe a similar thing to what I did before. One, two. Yeah, right. That would do something. Now, what I think I can do is use this. I want to get the wind guy there, exactly there. Let's see if this works. Because I think what I can do is send the golem to the right to hit the wind guy, go up, and then I can hit the bell with the golem. Oh, shit. Uh... It's got to go over one. Okay. Yes. Oh, whoops. Okay, now that feels very successful. Now we have access to the fire guy. Um, I can send. Ooh. I could see kind of an idea. Well, first of all, the, we know that the fireballs go through portals, but that's not nearly going to be enough to matter. But what I could do is something like this. No, that's not going to matter. Um, oh! I, I wonder. Let's just let's experiment a little bit. Weird. Okay, there's that's the ending. Oh wait. Uh that's the ending for sure. Obviously because I have to get in there also. Which is also an interesting idea. Oh, right. I can push this up. How? 
Maybe. Oh. There's a lot of like little things that I'm interested in about this puzzle. Um. Let's go back a little bit. I, I think I just need to figure out how this works. Um, I want to pull this up because I, I just want to be able to replicate it when I need to. That's not good. That comes over. Hold on, I'm going to keep that. Oh my god, it's so specific. I'm going to keep that there. Now I'm going to move Wind Guy. If I do that, will that help? No, because I'm going to need... Uh, actually, if I'm here and I can get the wind guy to push me, that would do it. But that's really specific. Okay... Maybe. No, this is this is way too much. These these solutions are tough, but they're not like that obtuse. Um, I want to get this the water guy out of there. So how? What's the next step? So I've I've freed all the other elementals except for the water one yet, and that's going to become important. I know it. So I got to push down the. I need to push down the the green pressure plate. Green pressure, well, green pressure plate comes down by a block, assumedly. Um, it could be very well this block here. Um, or it could be. Can it be the golem? I forget, does the goal, can the, I know the water one doesn't press down a pressure plate, that's not possible, but can I get a golem to do it? I think so, right? I think they can. Uh, okay, so I gotta do the same, I gotta do this maneuver again, right? So that we can clear this out. Let's, let's see. Again, this is all about experimentation. Okay, hold on. Okay. Good. That was good stepping. Now, this comes over, this comes over, this comes over. Now, what I want to do is push the wind. Uh, no, I can push the golem over now. What I do need to do, though, is get the wind guy... to be facing the right, there. I think this might work. I have no reason to believe it wouldn't. So if I do this, yeah, okay. And that's, that's that element freed and now I can get the water guy out. Okay, this is exciting. Um, Something we have not tried yet, because we haven't had the ability to. What happens if you put the water in? Okay, just straight up dies. Actually, all of them. What happens if you... Right, that, uh, fire floats. We know the wind floats. And golem we haven't tried, I don't think. But I would have to assume it... Oh, I actually don't want to assume. I was going to say I assume it dies also, but it's a rock. So maybe not. Let's see, can I do, let's see what happens if I just do that. Again, uh, experimenting a little bit. Um, we gotta do this one more time or maybe multiple more times, but. Okay, this moves over. 
You come over, you come over, you do this. Now, this. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad I tested that because that is important. Right, I can use the golem as a stepping stone into there. Or just in general, that's, that's, that's kind of important to know. The one thing I don't know about any of these puzzles is what do I have to do to break the crystal, right? The one that's currently in the top right of the screen. What do I have to do to actually break it? Um, uh, I might need the golem. The golem might have to be the thing that smashes into it because we've seen that it's not just me. I can't, it's not just me walking up to it. I think I might have to get the golem to travel all the way through that. Which would make sense, right? Because w all I'd have to do then is do the process I have been doing with the golem, send it up to here, and all I'd have to do is get the wind guy to shove it straight up. Actually, that's really not too hard. Huh, okay, hold on. I'm just curious to see this move. Um, can I do this? Um, and by this, it's going to be using the fire guy. There. Okay. Oh, I can't push you down. I was going to use a fireball down here that sends upward to those. But I can't do that. Wait, I can. This is where this starts to get really devious. If I move you over, I move you this way. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, that's just going to push you. I'm not going to be able to send fireballs. Um... That was a good idea, though, I think. I also have to just completely clear out the... Uh, I need to completely clear out that top right side of the screen, right? I need to be able to send something through there. Ideally, it's blowing something up. Um, It's funny, there's actually a lot of options of things I can do, but I think I'm, I'm limited actually on resources because I only really have the, the little, the block on the bottom left here is, I can't take that out of there. Um, and this one is used for so many different things, or I have been using it for so many things. What is it gonna be? What is it really gonna end up being used for? I think it's going to have to be a platform. I think it's going to have to basically do that. Because there's not really a good, a, a better use for it. I mean, they are, there's there's nothing else that I can use. The, the the trick, though, I'm seeing right now is this. Is that I can, I can duplicate a block. Let's get you out of here. Right, so if I have two blocks, one of them can be my, or both of them, I guess, can be my platform. Oh! I can send a detonate, I could send a block to detonate and push it through. Oh wow, that's wacky, but yeah. Okay, so. Let's get the wind guy close. So I can do
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The water guy comes back to being a water guy? Oh, this is new information that I... Wow, okay, hold on. Um... There, I think there's too many steps. Yeah, it's too many steps. I would love to send something through there, though. Maybe I do the reverse of that. Maybe I get... Uh, no, because it's going to be even less time, right? If I put the water block as our stepping stone... That's locked in. Now, if I did something like this, I think it would st it'd still be a pro it'd be the same exact situation. Hmm. I'm I'm not actually upset that I haven't gotten anything yet because I think that there's a lot of interactions that we've learned now between all these characters between the all of the elementals um i think i have to i think i have to pause this episode because i don't want to get to get too long um but now i think i know the basis of these puzzles i think we can start actually figuring out what to do here um thank you for watching this episode please give it a like um, subscribe if you want to see a lot more puzzle games. Uh, there's a playlist with all the episodes of this series and others um, back to back if you just want to binge these episodes and play along. Um, and with that, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you, Internet.